We welcome the metal band Hellbender to the stage of the Phoenix Theater. This is a group of friends who've been playing music in Sonoma County for over a quarter of a century. They've seen the scene, the music in the area change a lot in that time, and this project allows them to continue bringing the old school Bay Area thrash metal that they love to life. Tonight we'll learn more about the people, their experiences, where they've been, and where they're going. And after that, we'll get to hear their music. Please welcome to the program, Hellbender. Hellbender. What's up? Yeah. We're glad right. to be here. The crowd goes crazy. What an honor. Right. You know, I've got a hundred years actually. of combined time place. listening to this band. Because <laughs> yeah. right, right. you guys have been in all sorts of bands that have played a, a similar genre, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, your guys' website talks about how you came of age when skateboarding, rocker chicks, punk rock, and thrash metal were king. First of, be all, very beginning. first of all, I've known this guy, Eric Lee, since first grade. Right. All right, we're 47 years old. Okay, yeah, this how old guy, is everybody? You're 47, I'm 47 you're 47. Eric, 47. 47. 47. Okay. 48. 48. 48. 48. Oh, so the old guy yeah. in the band. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I've known I, Eric since seventh grade. Yep. Yeah. Clee since eighth. Bill since 2000. I'm, I'm the Santa Rosa. They're all yep. pedal and I'm, yeah. I'm right. Santa Rosa. Not to put you guys on the spot, but you've been doing this for 25 years, and it's a very niche, unique thing uh, to play in metal bands, to play with rowdy crowds, to channel yeah. that that anger, that thrash. Life lessons, perspectives, like what, what do you do? I don't know. I, I don't know how to exactly ask the question, but I feel like you have sat in a very unique seat where you've been able to kind of like – you you learn things about how to interact in everyday life through experiences like this. I think I what you were trying to get to is more towards uh, it affecting life. Like, all right, I was in a hardcore band. When you're at a metal show or any kind of a show, the Phoenix show, you're there to enjoy the band. You're there to, you know, get through the night. But, you know, people are going to dance. People are going to, you know, maybe kick you, maybe push you, maybe punch you. That's the same thing in life. You know, you just learn to deal with that. The guy that flies off the handle of a show gets, you know, pushed one time and he wants to, you know, someone looked at his girlfriend wrong, he wants to start a fight. That's the guy that's going to be a dick in life because he just fucking doesn't get it. But the person yeah. that can let this stuff go by, they're going to be a good person because, I mean, you live a long enough life, you're going to get shit on, kicked on. I mean, it, it happens to everyone. It happens to everyone. Yeah. At a metal Absolutely. show, you learn you to fall live down through in the pit and you pick that guy pick up. Pick that guy up. That pick is that what up. we learned back in the day. They yep. don't do that no yeah. more. What's the new album called? Falling Down. Falling Down. Um, when you write those songs, uh, when you uh, you make a video for a song, what was the song called? Crossing the line. Crossing, Crossing the line. The line. Uh, <laughs> is there anything thematically or from life that goes into it, or is it just more of like a, a sonic listening experience? Like, uh, do the lyrics mean anything? Is oh, there yeah. any sort oh, of a cool. narrative oh, yeah. or an arc? Oh, any, no. Anything you want to share guy. from that, I think, is, is really worthwhile. Um, I, I write about uh, different kinds of things. I mean, current events and, uh, you know, just personal things, serial killers. I mean, I, there's a wide variety. It's metal. Sure. Yeah. But w w maybe a song or two that really stick out to you. That, uh, you crossing know, the line. Let's we'll uh, talk about that, crossing the line. Well, it's kind of about where the United States is at now. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I don't like to get political, but I voted for Bernie Sanders because that was the absolute only human being I saw in the whole election that I could stand behind. Yeah. Everyone else is a puppet. That means nothing to me. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are no, uh, th there are wealthy people. I don't know any myself. All I know are poor people. I don't know any middle class. I haven't seen the middle class since I was a fucking kid in the 70s, man. I mean, it's been all poor. But, you know, we still survive because, you know, this is what we do. So to me, crossing the line is about, hey, you know, open up your eyes, people. I mean, it, 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 I mean. What is this, a, a, a feeder or whatever? These people that think kill the fascists? They're the fucking fascists. They're there. And, and if they take those masks off and I get a hold of them for one second, I'll show him what he didn't get beat as a kid. I mean, I'm just saying the United States is a messed up place right now. A messed up place right now. There are only two races. It's good people and bad people. That's uh -huh. really what it comes right. down to. I don't care if you're black, white, gay, straight, from a Muslim. You know, I don't care. You're either good or bad person. That's crossing the line explores that. Crossing the line uh, brings all that to, uh, and all of its different genres to a head. Yeah. And what is the line? What is the line? You say crossing the line. Uh, you say it's about that. State I mean, of the Union says we're lyrics? living in you mean, hell. We've, you, we've, we've crossed the line to hell. Is that sort no, of No, no, no. The lines have been drawn. You're oh. either a good or a bad person. Oh, okay. You know? you, you've either stepped over the line. Now, I'm not saying bad people Decide can't be good again. Decide what you're on. Decide what side you're on. How's the chorus go? Um, this is a war. This the lines war. have been drawn. Decide right now yeah. which side you're on. Right. Yeah. Yep. 
Uh, the title of the CD is, uh, is called Falling Down. Uh, I share a very bad problem with alcohol, as a lot of my friends do, and, and falling down is just about what it's like to be a, a drinker. I mean, you know, it, it really is. I mean, it's or, or a drug abuser. You could actually, you know, throw that into a drug yeah. abusing thing, too. Doesn't have to be about alcohol. Or America. The cover basically is a picture of, um, like, the... Um, the state, state building, capital. the state capital. The world and, is falling And down. everything like all blown to bits. But in front of it is um, Hellbender on the top with, uh, instead of red and white stripes, it's black. And white the whole, the whole black album flag, is black, black and white. American so flag. it's like black stripes that aren't really stripes. They're kind of rippling down like rips or, or tears. And the stars, the white nice. stars are falling from the Hellbender. And in, in the background is the Capitol building all like exploded like the world is to, and it's falling down like who did you cover art i did it yeah. I did let, let me ask you how do you feel about the uh, the world right now not just the u.s the world well it would seem that we're uh, i i would say that i i think a lot of my generation and maybe many other generations took for granted what seemed to be like a stable world and it would seem that we probably have uh, a lot less stability moving forward than we had in the last 30 years so i'm 32 and uh, it, it's. I, I hope I, there's I, oxygen when you're old. I was. Uh, I, I think that uh, it was a pretty fortunate 32 years to grow up in, and it seems like the next 32 is going to be a little rougher. That that would be what I think. Yeah, I, I just don't see. Uh, I mean, I would love to say that it's going to be a great ending. I mean, part of the reason why I don't have children. I mean, I really don't like the way the world's going. I don't. And and this is a great excuse for a, a release for me to get out. You know, in the band. Not only my, my voice, but, you know, my anger. I mean, you saw, I, I can't stand still. I mean, I, it's just. Well, t to me, this, this, like, what, this, what we've just stumbled upon here is maybe the deepest reason why you keep returning to metal. Because what else can you do, right? Oh. I mean, you're, you're a citizen of this planet. <laughs> and until you are no longer breathing, you just kind of got to make do and do stuff that you like. Uh, but but you're troubled by what you see. Oh, man. Uh, isn't everybody? I mean, yeah. everybody should be. The world <laughs> yeah. does not look good right now. Yeah. And what do you do with that except for try to find ways to cope? And I think that this is a lot better than, say, you know, a, a substance, which many of us have had issues with that. Oh, and yeah. that's okay. But I, I, a reason I brought that up earlier is it's like this is a more sustainable way to do that. Yeah. It's a healthier way, more sustainable yeah. way, and a more positive way, really. Yeah. And I think I speak for the whole table when I say, Tom, what do, what do you think is going to happen in the world? Ooh, what's going to happen? I mean, aren't you curious to know what Tom thinks? Uh, oh, I have uh, always been curious. I talk to Tom every time I see him. Yeah, yeah I, uh, dude. Uh, it's looking a little dark. <laughs> it's uh, it's looking dark right now. I've you know I've always been kind of an optimist. Uh, the thing that is so scary to me is that everybody I, I love lives in this world. And a lot of the people I love are coming up to the age that uh, could find them actually having to go out onto a battlefield again. So what I would like to see is just ha at all costs, no, no more wars. Please, let's not send our kids in this country to another war. Because, I, I mean, I look out every day and see kids skating on these uh, on these floors and on our ramps. And uh, holy, please, let's Something not send these we got to bring the kids home that are already out yeah, there. Though. We've we already do. got kids over there. Right? We, we need to bring, bring them back. home first yep. and still not bring send anyone else out. Don't send anyone else out. Let's figure that part of it out. Uh, but again, in my life, uh, <clears throat> geez, I, I've seen it. It's I, Very seldom have we not been at war. So for me, this isn't such a shocking thing. It just... Uh, I mean, obviously, we're not going to find the solution to it, but I think that this is... I appreciate you sharing that and, and, yeah. and welcome anything else you want to share on the subject because I think that this courses through the art that you make. I mean, the, yeah. the passion... I don't know. I don't have a lot of use for terms like old and young, but I do feel that as people age, they tend to become more complacent, and I feel like y you individually and maybe the rest of the band are, are pushing against that a little bit you 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 are not becoming complacent no I'm, i don't like but i'll be honest at my age I've, I've done so much where yeah i'm happy sitting at home watching planet earth with a beer and, and my supper and you know getting up early for work but i mean that doesn't mean that i'm going to stop banging the drum or, or stop banging the gong you know i'm going to keep you know, voicing my opinion i'm never going to stop I mean, you know, yeah, that would kill me if I stopped like yeah. music. If I stopped playing music, that would kill me. If I wasn't in this band, give me a year or two, I'll, I don't know, I'll make another band. You know, I'll, I'll do something. If I can't do scream metal, maybe I'll play the acoustic or something. I mean, I always do some kind of music. 
always do something. When I look at you and I listen to you talk, I feel like you've you've felt some some restlessness and you you've felt you know you felt troubled. Uh, and in Idol, I, a lot of times I feel kind of troubled. Like I feel like I need to keep moving. I got to keep doing. Rolling and that's stone. that's it's useful. Yeah. Even if you can get past the pain of it, it's useful to channel it because I feel like if you didn't have that, you wouldn't be in this band. Oh no! You no, know, Clee got me into this band. I was going through a really rough patch. I was out of my last. We band. stole them. We <laughs> got them <laughs> out of the closet. <laughs> my my family, my mom had passed away. My dad had passed away. I was going through a really rough period. Clee was calling me up, and you know, not not persistent, but consistent. Hey, you know, we got this band. Come on down. And I was like, no, no. Took over a year. It. Took over a year, but I was finally like, you know, I'm just gonna go down there. I'm just gonna go down and check them out. You know, I've I've always admired Clee. You know. Like I said, I was the big fish up in Santa Rosa. He was the big fish down here. I'm like, yeah, all right, please call me up. And I came back from that first jam, and I was like, dude, I, I could do this. This is actually yeah, something. Sure. It, it inspired me. It got me thinking again. got the juices flowing again. Uh, not just. And maybe took you out of that negative orbit. You know, that's the best thing about these it projects. Me back you in. know, you, you just it you me keep back living the same nightmarish orbit, orbit until well, something pulls you out of it. You have a friend yeah. or, a, or a circumstance happen. You know, you talk about possible wars and, and craziness in yeah. the world it's kind of like all we've got is each other. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really great. You guys have stuck together. The people will make America great, not yeah. the politics. Yeah, true. Well, but also the people at this table will watch out for each other and uh, will help, help each other get yeah, through this corner of the, of the United States, you know, yeah, help and this corner of America definitely. on a national level, uh, but also on a personal level. So I, I think that there's something inspiring about you guys knowing each other since you were teenagers, kids, you know, yeah. Uh, some people turn into completely different folks, go far away, don't think back to the friends they had when they were young. But you guys have stuck together, and you're and you're still creating together, and that's that's yeah. a beautiful thing. And you've yeah. watched them create for yeah. combined over a hundred years. Long time, yeah, easily. Thank you guys for being a part of the show tonight. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks for Thank doing for music us. for as long Definitely. as you have. Thank you. <laughs> uh, sometimes it can feel thankless to do something like this for so long, but it is very cool that you guys have done it and continue to do it. It means a lot to a lot of people thank you so right on, thanks right for being on. part of this yeah. and uh everybody else should stick around because hellbender is going to play us a collection of songs in just a moment Woo. thanks for joining us everybody thanks. thank you yep. yeah <laughs> Blade, Price and Days, Blue Rain.
Taken from a dream Things are what they seem Is this real? Or am I mistaken? Blinded by a word A vision of truth All this can be real My innocence taken All I can do is bring Step by step Face the seas There's a battle in my head Don't get him from my life Or Like to rest, my worst is my best My mind is in a haze, this is the end of pain